All right, man, if you tuned into this channel, it's because you want to learn how to do IS300 knuckle rebuilds, right? Do your own fucking channel. Nah, I'm choking. So we're going to start off with a nasty looking knuckle like this with the back of the plate all beat up and messed up. We're going to strip it down. We're going to hit it with a little bit of this uh, paint right here. We're going to hit it with some rust reformer. And then after we hit it with the rust reformer, we're gonna go over it with some nice little uh, hammered enamel. All right, just to make it look a little bit decent. You're gonna need some tools. This here, I'll put in the description uh, what tool this is. This is gonna help you rip apart the uh, knuckle assembly. We're gonna install a set of uh, spherical bearings for the uh, bottom bushing. We're gonna replace that. And we got a set of brand new Timken bearings we're putting in. And I'm gonna show you how to pretty much get this shit done real quick uh, in a 20 ton uh, Harbor Frizzate press. All right, so here we go, guys. All right, all right, this is what you're gonna do. Okay. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna knock these studs out of here. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna use this. You can use a hammer or whatever the hell you wanna do. All right, boom, so we knocked that out, right? So I'm gonna make this video just straight to the point because I'm not gonna talk much through it. I got a lot of shit to do. All right, so we're gonna knock that out. Next thing, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use this tool right here. Get the number down so you can order it on Amazon. That's where I got this at. Uh, I think it's made by Astro Pneumatics or something like that. All right, seven, eight, Eight three zero. All right, and we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up real quick. All right, so you're gonna set up the jig like this. You're gonna use the smaller arms, and the smaller arms are gonna grab on to the back side right here. They're also, they're gonna pretty much push this away while lifting uh, the uh, the hub up and out. And I'm gonna show you, uh, let's see if I can do this. So, so the kit comes with a big ass bolt like that, all right? You're gonna take that big ass bolt and you're gonna get yourself uh, one of these washers that comes with. Now that washer, what that washer is gonna do is gonna grab a hold of the actual um the the hub right here it's gonna grab it right here and it's gonna force it through the bearing all right that's what's gonna happen so so it's both gonna come through this is gonna go on here like so and you're gonna use uh one of these bolts here, you gotta tie this thing in, alright, cool, so you're gonna tie that in like that, and, and that's with all this stuff assembled onto it, I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes, so you know what's going on when you see it happen, um, you're gonna put it all together like so, and in this, you're gonna hold it, with you're gonna hold it with this, right? So that's gonna keep it together. So you're gonna hold it like so, 
and then you're gonna ugga dugga the shit from the other side. And it's gonna pull it out, all right? That's how that shit works. Now you understand? Now we move on to the next part. All right, so now we're set up. We're set up and kind of ready to go. Uh, ready to go right now. All right. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get your ugly dugga right here. All right, like I had told y'all, you're gonna set it up. Now I use two of these washers right here so it, so that I could slide. I put a little bit of oil in between the two washers so it doesn't build up a lot of heat between the two washers. Um, and then as you see, it's all set up right here, okay? So you know what's going on. Uh, let's set up the little camera, frame it. Cool. Now, let's see. We should be able to do this all in one take. clamp like this or whatever y'all poor motherfuckers can afford and then you're gonna put this shit on here like so so pretty much try to get yourself a locking uh, c clamp Off. All right, so once you got it to this point here where you remove the hub, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these bolts off right here. This is what holds the backing plate, uh, the dust plate or backing plate, whatever you wanna call it. It's this nut here and this one I had already removed previously. So we're gonna remove that right there. Oh, good job. Come here. Box. Um, we're gonna pour things on there. Right. Get you one of those. Alright. Kind of rusted to hell, so you gotta make sure you. Get the backing plate off. Now, you might have to hit this with a hammer. 
because these two things here for some reason they really like hold on to the rest of the knuckle so you gotta smack it with a hammer and the whole thing will just come off alright This is what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna set it up on your uh, press like so. Boom, we'll put it right there. Then you're gonna put the edge of this on the edge of that. And you're gonna find a big ass bolt. And you're gonna press that shit right through the center of it. Now this thing is gonna move on you. So be very careful and always wear protection because this shit is pretty serious. Alright folks, so we're getting to the point where we're going to press out the bearing. What we're going to do, we're going to take one of these bad boys here. Uh, no, I have a bearing press kit. Uh, this this kit that I have here, you can get on Amazon. Um, I think it's also made by Astro, but I'm not 100% sure. So anyways, we're going to use one that fits over the bearing like so. Okay. Now I heated up already the the outside portion of this here because sometimes the bearing gets stuck and it's on there pretty tight. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get something here to allow us. Uh, where's that? Yeah, bolt. Ah, okay. So we're gonna get this big ass bolt. So, center that on there, okay, as you can see, and guys, I'm trying to just get straight to the point for you, so we're going to bring this in, now I want to try to get it as center as possible. to do is just collapse the bearing onto itself
this shit looks sketch. But to be honest, man, this stuff, this one here is not, once you collapse it like this, it's actually not that. Stop the recording but pretty much this is what you want once you get it to this point here you give it a couple wax and you're gonna be able to heating up by heating up this ring when you get close to cutting through the expansion of the ring wanting to open from the heat will just snap open so and that's that's pretty much what I ended up doing so. all right mofos mofos uh, this allergies are starting to kick my ass, man. So, you know, I had to reach for a brewski. Had to reach for a fucking brewski. So, we're at this point right here. We got all the shit over there. Uh, using that uh, rust inhibitor, primer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, got that shit going. Um, and then over here, we're getting ready to start pressing in the new berry. So, what we're going to do... Um, we're gonna get the bearing set up here. Uh, now, I don't know if this matters or not, but I'm gonna put it exactly how I took it out. So the bearing that when I removed the factory bearing, it had the the numbers and uh, you know all the manufacturer stuff facing upwards. And that's exactly how I'm gonna press it back in. I'm gonna press it right back in uh, with those numbers and information facing upwards. So it'll be just like it was in factory mode, all right? So tune in to part two uh, when we do the installation stuff. All right, guys. Peace.